Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and this is the Sukshma Vyayam series. Today we'll do some joint mobility exercises for our fingers, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders and the neck. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's begin the practice by sitting in a cross-legged position or you may choose to stretch your legs forward and sit in the base position like we did in the previous video. Now, we're going to begin with Mushtika Bandhan or the hand clenching exercise. Stretch your arms forward, keeping them at the same level as your shoulders, and then open the fingers nice and wide, stretch them out without straining, inhale, and on the exhale, bend the thumbs, and then slowly wrap the other four fingers around the thumbs, exhale. Inhale, open, and stretch, Exhale, thumbs in, four fingers wrapped around the thumbs. Keep going like this. We'll go for eight more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your awareness on the stretching of your fingers, on the breath, and on any sensations you might be feeling in the fingers. That's five. We've got five more, inhale, and there's no rush here, exhale, give each movement your full attention. Our hands work the whole day, our fingers help us to do so many tasks, so give them a little bit of love, a little bit of attention here. We've got two more, inhale to stretch. Exhale to wrap the fingers around the thumbs. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Very good. Now release your arms, release the fingers, take a breath here. And the next one we will do is Mani Band Naman or the wrist bending exercise. So sit upright, relax the shoulders, reach your arms forward again, palms facing down. And we're going to turn the fingers to point up towards the ceiling as if we wanted to press or push against a wall with our palms. Inhale. And on the exhale, bend through the wrist, point the fingers down. Let's try to keep our fingers and, and the thumbs together. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. That's two. We're going to do ten in total again. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. So once again, your awareness, your attention is in the wrists, in the sensations that you feel in this joint, and in the breath. We've got about five more. No rush. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing the movements to be guided by the pace of your breath. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, relax the shoulders, relax the facial muscles, last one, very good, and release your arms, release the wrists. The next one we will do is Mani Band Chakra or the wrist joint rotation. Let's begin with the right arm. Stretch the right arm forward, again, keeping the arm at the same level as the shoulder. Okay, relax the facial muscles, relax the shoulders. Now we're going to make a fist, so bend the thumb and wrap the four fingers around the thumb. And now you want to make sure the fingers face down the whole time, and we're going to start in a clockwise direction. One, two, three, four, Five, keep breathing. Inhale on the upward movement, exhale on the way down. And I find it pretty challenging to keep the fingers pointing or facing towards the floor. How is it for you? Good, two more. Good, now let's go in the anti-clockwise direction. Inhale upward, exhale downwards. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. Very good. Six more. Keep breathing. No rush. Awareness is in the wrists. Three. Two. And I feel it in my forearms as well. I love that. Two. And one. Wonderful. Release the right arm. Stretch the left arm forward. Keep the spine upright the whole time. Bend your thumb. Wrap the fingers around the thumb. And let's go. Clockwise to begin with. One. Inhale on the upward movement. Exhale on the downward movement. Three. Fingers are facing the floor. Five. Notice how this side feels compared to the first side or to the right side. Keep your awareness on your breath, on your wrist. Three, two, and one. Anti-clockwise, let's go for ten. Nine, eight, breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Release. Let's do both our wrists together now. Stretch both your arms forward. Make fists. Let's start with both our wrists rotating in an in an in a clockwise direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anti clockwise for ten, nine, and we tend to take our hands and our feet for that matter, for granted. So these exercises really aim at bringing our, our awareness and attention into these joints, into these parts of the body, and providing them some love, some lubrication through these rotations, through these movements. Very good. And release. Wonderful. Roll out your shoulders. Maybe do some neck movements if you feel like. And let's move on to our elbows now. So the first we will do is Keuni Naman, which is elbow bending. Stretch your arms forward, turn the palms up, and then bend your elbows, keeping the elbows uh, in line with your shoulders. Touch the fingers to your shoulders. We're going to stretch the arms forward. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Inhale. And two, three, four, five, six, awareness in the elbows and in the breath. We're on eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. Release the arms. Moving on to rotations of um, the elbows. So let's start with one arm. Let's start with the right arm. Support the right arm with your left hand under the upper arm. Okay. And you can either keep your fingers loose or you can make a loose fist. It's up to you. Relax the shoulder. And we're going to start in a clockwise direction. One, two, inhale upward, exhale downward. And I love this exercise in particular because this is not the way our elbows are used to moving. This is a wonderful way to mobilize this joint. Three, two, one, switch directions, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Release. Let's do the other arm. Support the weight of your arm with your right hand this time. Relax the shoulders. You can make a fist or keep your fingers loose. And let's go. One. Two. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Reverse the circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Wonderful. Release. Take a breath here. You can move your legs a little bit if you feel like and then join me back when you're ready for our shoulder joint rotations now for this exercise again we're going to bring our fingers to our shoulders relax the facial muscles relax the neck completely and now we're going to rotate the shoulders so actually let's begin with one shoulder at a time let's begin with the right shoulder so draw a big circle with your elbow Rotating from the shoulder joint. Inhale on the upward movement. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. And really bring your awareness and attention into this shoulder. And this is excellent if you have a, a frozen shoulder. This really, really helps to get back some mobility. Increase circulation. Three more. And then we switch directions. Three. Two. One. Reverse the circle now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Remember that where your attention goes is where the energy flows. So really consciously keep your awareness in the joint that you're working on and allow pran or energy to flow there. Healing, nurturing that joint. Very good. And release. Let's move on to the left shoulder. Fingers on the shoulder. Let's begin. One. And notice how you feel on this side. Typically, my left side always feels a little less flexible or mobile than the right side. Notice if it's the same for you or... It's the other way around. Inhale, exhale. And the beauty of Sukshma Vyayam is that everything is, or every movement is done, synchronized with the breath. And that is what allows us to slow down. Very good. Let's go ahead and reverse the circle. Inhale on the upward movement. Exhale on the way down. And I tend to move my chest a little bit on the left side. Notice how it, how it is for you. Can you keep your torso nice and still and just move from the shoulder joint? Two more. Last one. And release. Wonderful. Let's do it with both our arms now. Hands on top of the shoulders. This time we're going to attempt to bring the elbows as close as possible to one another in front of the chest. Maybe they touch. It's okay if they don't. And now draw a big circle. Inhale. Exhale. Remember to keep your neck in alignment with the spine. You do, you do not want to strain the neck in any way here. So you don't want the chin to come forward like this. Keep your neck nice and long. Let's do about two more and then reverse the circle. Wonderful. Reverse. Inhale on the way up. Exhale down. Beautiful. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale. This is wonderful if you have a desk job, if you spend a lot of time in front of the computer, our, t our shoulders tend to accumulate a lot of tension. Wonderful. And now release completely. We're done with our arms. We're going to move on to our neck movements now. Okay, so let's begin by just noticing how our spine is. Straighten your spine if it's not already. And the first one we will do is just nodding the chin down, keeping the back of the neck long, and then looking up towards the ceiling without straining the neck. So we're not throwing our head back and straining the neck. Keep the back of the neck long. So again, synchronize it with your breath. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Do 10 of these. So let's do five more together. Inhale. Exhale. Slow down the movement. And if you feel any strain at all, it just means you need to change the range of motion you're using. So make it smaller. Very good. Last one. Good. Come back to center. And now we're simply going to drop the ear towards the shoulder. Come back to center. Drop the ear to the shoulder. Inhale on the way to the center and then exhale when your ear drops to the shoulder. Again, keeping the shoulders completely relaxed. The aim here is more towards movement and less getting a, a big, big stretch. So reduce your range of motion if you feel any kind of stress. Notice your breath. Notice the sensations in your neck. And again, we're doing about 10 of these. Let's do one more here and then switch to the next exercise. Good. Now you're simply going to turn the head, come back to center and turn the head the other way. As if you were saying no. Again, inhale on the way forward and towards the center. Exhale when you turn the head. This is a wonderful stretch for the sides of the neck. And we're doing 10 of each exercise. So again, do five to 10. And you can do these a few times during the day. Maybe a few in the morning, then during your lunch break, before you take your lunch, and then maybe some before you go to sleep. And I find these extremely helpful when I practice them in the morning when I wake up. Good, come back to center. Release completely. And now we're going to draw circles. So imagine your nose is a pencil and you want to draw circles on the wall in front of you. You can start off with small circles and then make the circles bigger as you go. Clockwise and then anti-clockwise. So do five to 10 in one direction and then switch again. Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. You do not want to throw your head back and strain the back of your neck. Instead, keep the back of the neck long. Let's go ahead and switch now. Inhale, exhale. You can close your eyes. Exhale. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Come back to center. Take a moment, breathe in and breathe out. Thank you very much for joining me in this practice. I really hope that this was helpful and I will see you again very soon with another practice. Namaste.